Hello friends, I'm Dr. T. Today we're going to continue addressing atrial fibrillation uh, part 5. On the first vi video we look at what is atrial fibrillation, how common, what were the symptoms, what are the causes. On the second video we addressed who is at risk for a stroke in atrial fibrillation. We went over the Chad's vasque scoring system. Uh, on the third video we address what to do to decrease the risk of stroke in people with atrial fibrillation. We said there was five medications and a device called left atrial pendular occlusion device. And on the fourth video, we addressed another very important question, atrial fibrillation damage your heart muscle, causing uh, tachycardia induced cardiomyopathy. And today, we're gonna ask uh, three questions. So, atrial fibrillation and alcohol, what is the holiday heart syndrome? And what about uh, caffeine? Although moderate amount of drinking, like two glasses of wine a day for men, one for women, has benefits in terms of coronary artery disease, when it comes to atrial fibrillation, this story is very different. Uh, binge drinking causes the risk of getting you in atrial fibrillation, and it's known as the holiday heart syndrome. The Holiday Heart Syndrome was actually described in 1978 by Dr. Philip Ettinger, and it's when the healthy people, even without prior heart disease, known to cause an arrhythmia, experience uh, an acute episode, palpitations, racing in the heart, atrial fibrillation, after excessive alcohol intake. And initial symptoms of the Holiday Heart Syndrome could be, uh, besides the palpitations and the pounding, uh, dizziness, lightheadedness, uh, shortness of breath, and uh, chest pain. But the reality is any amount of alcohol can trigger fibrillation, even in young people with perfectly normal hearts. And there's a study that was published last year in the Journal of American College of Cardiology, Death Physiology, where the researchers actually infused alcohol on the vein uh, and measured the effective refractive period of the atrium and the pulmonary veins and demonstrating increased vulnerability of the atrium uh, to atrial fibrillation even with very small amounts of alcohol. And obviously, if you drink alcohol for long periods of time, it would weaken your heart muscle, cause what they cause alcoholic induced cardiomyopathy, cause a congestive heart failure, and put you at high risk for sudden cardiac death. On the other hand, caffeine is okay and does not cause atrial fibrillation. Unless you document that caffeine makes you sick, it's okay with atrial fibrillation. It goes without saying you want to avoid in excessive amounts. In summary, atrial fibrillation alcohol do not mix. They do not mix. My recommendation is if you have atrial fibrillation, stay away from alcohol, period. Caffeine, on the other hand, does not trigger atrial fibrillation and it is okay. And remember, your health is too important to be delegated to others. Let's just take control. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel, write a comment, ask a question. I publish these videos on the second and the fourth Friday of each month. See you next video.